Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I want to do a topic video. I got to check in with you. Now, as soon as I say that, the rain starts. So I'm going to try to continue this video while it is raining behind us. Hopefully it won't get too windy and we'll be able to continue our conversation. But I think I need to talk to you. I'm recording this video at the end of April 2020 and I have been in the whole stay at home mode quarantine type situation for about six weeks now with my family, four kids, four dogs and a husband working from home. Lucky for me, I get to work from home. I'm very, uh, uh, very, very fortunate that way. So is my husband, he works from home too. But there's also this little thing called homeschooling. And I have kids at three different schools, <laughs> four different grades. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that with work. Oh my goodness. Oh, those teachers. I'm telling you. And so I wanted to talk about, I just want to do a check in and, and share with you a little bit of how I'm handling this whole experience that's going on in the outside world of of being home and being home with everybody else in my family because they're all kind of it's like all of a sudden I got all these co-workers but they're not helpful they're not helping me with my business they're just all there all the time <laughs> it's serious so lucky for me I've made I've carved out some little nooks in my house where I can you know get on my laptop and get on my iPhone and do recordings and things like that so that's been okay but the depth of the recording that I've been able to do has been challenging for me because of the focus. When I'm doing deeper channeling with new people, afterlife celebrity guests, for example, or influential people that I've never met before in, in the afterlife, and I don't really even have a connection to it all, it is super challenging to try to get in and build a rapport and a relationship while the dog's barking down the hall, my son's hollering for help with his geometry, another kid is, um, you know, making pizza rolls in the microwave. And I mean, there's just a mom, mom. I mean, there's a lot going on, you know, and it's understandable. And usually during times when my kids are like on spring break or they have like Christmas break off of school or they have like a weekend, um, like a, a long weekend, you know, Friday, Monday off kind of of school, I have always worked around that I've never really worked on those days and that's why I also haven't ever done sessions that often in my entire 15 year career in the evenings because they're home and it's distracting you know and so having session one-on-one -on -one is different than actually trying to channel and let me tell you how that is because when I'm working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I can really connect and really focus on you and our energy can connect. And it just is this awesome bridge of light and it's easy. And if I'm working in a small group or doing a, like something, you know, for an hour or two hours online with just, you know, four, six, eight, 12 people, that kind of a thing, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm in the zone. I'm with you. It's no big deal. And I go to great lengths prior to that to make sure nobody interrupts me or bothers me. And I have like a noise machine and a fan in the hallway and nobody can come down and put a block up like a dog gate up at the end of the hallway. So nobody even walks near there. The dogs are kenneled. I mean, there are signs up in the house, you know, be quiet. Mom's recording. Do not disturb, you know, that kind of a thing. And so I go to great lengths to make sure that space is really protected from disruption and distraction so I can focus. So it works that way. But to do a channeling, it's different because I'm going in and connecting in completely unfamiliar territory. Channeling one afterlife celebrity is totally different. Like, think about it. So channeling Prince, it's totally different, totally different than channeling like Doris Day or you know, Amelia Earhart or Christine McCullough, that kind of thing. Like it's, the energies are just different, you know, and, and different's fine. It's just for me, a new person is somebody I've just, and, and somebody I'm not inter all that interested in and not really feeling drawn to learn more about. It's really tough to do those kind of channels, which sometimes it's a general channel isn't a big deal, but right now it's just, it's tough to get in there and kind of do that. So you may see where I channel other people again. So I do repeat channeling 
because there's always more we can learn from people that I like to learn and can I like to learn from like Louise Hay, Wayne Dyer, people that I connect to frequently, more frequently than than others like Freddie Mercury, Marilyn Monroe, um, David Bowie, Robin Williams is another one that I really like. Um, you'll see that I do channel people uh, more more than just once, more than just once. George Michael, for example, and so. That's what, that's what creates playlists too for fans so that fans like during times like this, you guys can go to the playlist on Above Life channel and find the people that you love and you're drawn to. There's a variety there so you can find people you are drawn to and you can just devour those playlists. So you see, it's kind of a win-win for everybody. And I really felt like I needed to make this video to share that because I've gotten some feedback recently that um, I'm channeling Prince too much, for example. But the timing of that's a little unique because it was just the anniversary of the four years of his crossing over into the afterlife. And Prince is the reason why Above Life Channel exists. He was the one that really inspired and encouraged me to channel other celebrities as well. And so that's why we have Above Life Channel. Otherwise, we wouldn't have it. So of course I'm gonna give honoring and gratitude and recognition to him and to his fan, fan base, especially during this time. And so I'm sharing a whole lot of content on an alternate website that I have, The Purple Medium, for people who are Prince fans. ThePurpleMedium.com is a website for Prince fans. And there's a series that I recorded a few years ago with content from 2017, 2018 that I'm opening up. Usually I charge for that connection experience every spring. And instead this year, it really felt like I needed to just open it up so people can pay what they want and what they can. And if you can't, you can't, but you can still access it. And so it just, it's a, it's something that I can give and that feels really good to do that and honor the memory and the legacy and the legend of Prince. Not just from him as a musician or as a person, but for him, from him as a spiritual, supporter as a spiritual energy that has inspired the work that I'm doing here. So I appreciate that. And so that's why I'm sharing a lot of prints. So that, that answers that question. It's funny because you always get the gamut. You know, when you're on YouTube, you get a wide variety of comments. And I like to read them, you know that. I can't always respond to them, but I like to read them. I try to when I can at least give a little heart or a a thumbs up so that you know that I'm reading them. If I can reply, I will, but oftentimes it's just a thumbs up or a heart. But it, run, it runs the wide range, like from people who just love you so much. And sometimes people comment like on my hair or my makeup or my clothes or my jewelry. <laughs> and I get other people that, which is fine. I don't, that's fine with me. Um, but then I also get people that will um, really want me to channel one person or people that say, no, don't channel this person. And so it's like, what? <laughs> what channel them no don't channel them channel them no don't channel them no don't, don't, you know that kind of thing so it it's kind of a whole you get you get a wide variety which is, i guess is good right because then you end up where somewhere in between right so you can't make all the people happy all the time and so i'm just going to do the best i can from where i'm at and you know that in order for me to channel someone i have to feel it if i don't feel it i'm not going to fake it this is not that kind of a channel. I'm not a drive-through psychic connection medium, you know. I really want authentic connection and communication and I want you to be able to feel it, feel the energy through the experiences that we share here on Above Life Channel and I feel like we share them. So let me share with you this. If you're interested in actually watching some casual videos kind of like this with me, check out my fairy grasshopper channel. I have a channel where I just do vlog stuff about my psychic life, uh, topic-based stuff. I do card readings. I do all sorts of kind of psychic and Bridget-like stuff over there. So you can get to know me and hang out with me at Fairy Grasshopper. That's my first YouTube channel anyway that I've had. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, hang in there. We're gonna get through this unique time. We certainly will. And every week on Mondays, I'm gonna consistently post on Mondays. I have been posting Mondays and Wednesdays, but moving forward, I'm just giving myself that permission since this is my space anyway, and I'm like my own boss, although I do need to give myself a raise. I'm my own volunteer, 
and <laughs> best volunteer. <laughs> and I can decide what is going to be in the best interest of all of us, you know, so I want to provide quality connection and content. So for sure on Mondays, and sometimes you're going to see some stuff on Wednesdays, sometimes you might not. But keep an eye out because they will also connect with you on the community tab. I have the opportunity to do that. So be sure to subscribe to Above Life channel so you know if I decide to just happen to want to do a live stream that you don't miss it. Or if I'm offering a small group service where you can um, participate in just a small group with me, I will announce that on, on that community tab. So check it out. Check it out. And also I have a Facebook page. I have two of them. One Above Life channel on Facebook. Pretty, pretty easy to find that. Also I have one Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Bridget Inspired on Instagram. So I have a lot of different ways that we can connect if you're interested in that. But if you're only here for celebrity channeling, check out the playlists and take a look on Mondays. And then otherwise, if you just want that and you don't want anything else, I would recommend then taking a look at some of the other channeling um, psychics and mediums that are out there. There are some very qualified, very, very um, caring psychics and mediums. There are also some that are a little bit different than that. But like I said, we it runs the gamut and you gotta find something in between. So um, get some more supplements. Okay, if you need that, you go ahead and do it. You know, I'm certainly not the only one doing this kind of work. Make sure you find someone, though, that you feel in alignment with and in integrity with. And come back here every Monday on Above Life Channel so you never miss a channeling video. Remember, the purpose here at Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit. So when mine is inspired, that's when I know, I know I can give you the best connection opportunity and the best connection experience. It's also my goal to fill you with hope with these channeling sessions and to inspire you to live your life because it is your life after all. That's the point. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the views and the comments, the likes and the shares. Thanks for being here.